Okay, in this tutorial we're going to um, add a uh, laser to our character and make him shoot the laser. But first thing I want to do is a quick improvement. Um, in the game, right now, the character moves up, down, right, left, but if I hold down the arrow keys together at the same time, I can't make him move diagonally. And that is just a quick fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my code here that we did last time, and I've got the code here and I'm gonna say notice in this code here where it says the function hero enter frame this executes repeatedly and you've got if and then an else if and then an else if and then an else if right and the first two handle the y this one subtracts the y and this one adds to the y and this one subtracts from the x and adds to the x property of the character moving him across the stage well, if we say, okay, if, else if, that's cool for the y's, but then just change this else if right here to just an if. And so now that is an f, el, if, else if. So we'll see if we're going right or left. And so then this will be tested. And let's say this executes, all right, that means we're moving up, right? But then this will also execute uh, 30 times a second whether we're moving right or left and the result is now if I hit control enter and I hold down two keys at the same time the character can also move diagonally in other words if I hold down the two of the arrow keys together at the right time not only can he go up and down but he can also move diagonally and all that is was just a quick a, a quick change in having um, the Y properties uh, execute but also making sure to test the X properties also and not just do else if else if else if anyway you can play with that and see what I mean so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick laser and what we need to do is we're gonna make the laser first so I'm gonna say insert new symbol it's gonna be a movie clip right and I'm gonna call it laser right and then I'm also gonna set the export for action script in frame one and I'll just use the same name laser all right and click OK all right and then now I need to draw a box so I'm gonna get my rectangle tool uh, no stroke and color will be a uh, yellow color let's say like that and I wanna make sure this is off which it is object drawing is off and I'm just gonna draw this box right here all right and and I'll highlight it and I'm gonna make sure to change the width and the height to I'm gonna change the width to 10 hit enter and I'm gonna change the height to 2 alright when I do that it got really small right there it is woo so I'm gonna get the zoom tool I'm gonna to zoom in a lot alright gonna get the selection tool I'm gonna to grab it I'm gonna stick it right here centered and then I'm going to make sure it's really centered by setting the X position to negative 5 and the Y position to negative 1. And why is that negative 1, negative 5? Uh, if the upper left hand corner of the screen is 0, 0, well, because I'm inside the movie clip, 0, 0, right, on the grid is the registration point of the movie clip. And you can see it there right in the center now. So that puts this, this, um, this this laser right in the center and I might change that color to a little bit brighter yellow there we go alright so now I have my movie clip laser alright and the next thing to do now is to say okay now that I have this laser in my library and I have the linkage set to it we're going to attach it when the um, character presses fire essentially right so how do we do that well we're gonna do that with action script okay right now we press keys on the keyboard, the arrow keys, and the character moves around. But we want to press some other keys to fire the lasers, right? So our right hand can move the character, our left hand can shoot the lasers. So I'm thinking maybe E on the keyboard is good for shooting the laser up. So the E key, right? Because it's close to where your hand is naturally. Let's say you have your hand on the ASDF. E would be to shoot up. So how can we figure that out? Well, let's take a look here. In my action script, right on key one keyframe one where all our actions are I've got a key listener object right 
that was right here. Remember this thing? And it said, my listener on key down, run this function called hero key down. Well, let's go to that function. And on hero key down, the first thing that does is we say, hey, key class, get the code for whatever key is pressed, right? And essentially uh, put it in a variable called k, k for key. Well, we can trace that to the output window to see what keys are being pressed, right? So we uncomment. This had comments on it because we weren't using it in the last movie. So we'll uncomment it, right? Trace K, which will trace it to the output window. Now I hit Control Enter to publish my movie. And here's something that you're going to need to do, though. You're going to need to go to Control Disable Keyboard Shortcuts, right? And now you can move your character around. Look, there's up arrow 38 down arrow is 40, right arrow is 39, left arrow is 37, now the E key is 69. So I know E is 69 and I know, no, I know D is 68. Alright, so E is 69, it's right there in my output window. So now it's time just to code for that. Okay, so now we're going to put in the code that basically, I'm going to comment that out again now. And we're going to put in the code that's going to say, hey, when I press the E key, we got to do something. So right here, we have the uh, keys for when the character moves. So why not just put another if statement for when the um, key for shooting the laser up is placed. So right here, after the last else if conditional statement, I'll put a new line. Notice that this is the end of the function over here. So I'm not going past that. I'm going to say if. Uh, key dot is down, right? We know it's 68, right? So there we go. If key is down, 68. Notice open and close parentheses here for this is down method right here, part of the key class built into the action script. And then this parentheses close those off, that off, the argument off. And then open curly brace two lines down, backspace, close the curly brace. If key is down, we're going to say something like this, like create laser, right? And I put a capital L in there, and I've just make, made this up, right? Right now I don't have a create laser function, but I'm going to make one. So that's create laser, right? And then what we want to do is we're going to say, hey, we don't want to be able to shoot rapidly like a million times per second. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put in something for that. So I'll say if key is down 68, and I'm going to put this in here. And um, shot timer, and this is going to be a variable, so I'll make it all caps. Shot timer is less than or equal to zero. All right, and shot timer is less than or equal to zero, then create the laser. And then after the, the laser is created, we set shot timer equal to five, let's say, right? So um, we say, hey, if the key is down, and the shot timer is less than zero, create the laser, and then set the shot timer back to five. And then after this conditional statement, we say shot timer minus minus, which will subtract one from the shot timer. So the shot timer, when this thing is running, is constantly going down. And then when a shot is fired, uh, if, it's, um, if it's less than zero, then we can shoot and then it's set back to five. So that, that'll be that. Um, so now we have to write the function for create laser to create our laser and place it on the stage.